right. Well, look who's here, everybody. Teo Penglis and Leanne Hunley. It's so wonderful to see them. It's been several years yeah. because we have been in the pandemic and I've not seen anybody in person. We're in Day of Days 2022. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. And thank you very much for inviting us. It's after three years. And to see that you're doing fine. Okay, we're, good. All, we're all surviving. So are you liking the fact that they're still having you guys on the show? They're still working with you? Yes. More, more. We need more. Yes, we need more. But, you know, I've liked the time off because I've journeyed. Uh, you know, I went to Vienna. I went to Greece. I'm going to go back to Egypt, and I'm going to go home for Christmas. But it's, you know, at this stage of our lives, we are the best that we are, I think, because of all the things that we've experienced. And sometimes you want to put it somewhere, put it in into the role, that energy, that understanding, that growth. You know, how did we come out of this three-year period? Did we evolve? Did we, you know, come out feeling less? No, we came out feeling enlightened and and in many ways had a good look at ourselves and say you're okay you know so it is so amazing that this has endured so long you as anna him as tony every yes 40 40 years ever imagine you must have thought at times like no i'm never coming back they're never asking me back. well i yeah i didn't you know and when i first came back it was after 20 years and that was shocking enough i have to say because i was I, but it was like walking into a family reunion. It was really so welcoming, and and I put on my character the way she was, and I love being Anna. I love great character. She's fun. I love that they write her outrageous because those are things I would never say to people in my real life. I love that I get to dress up. Um, I think that I go everywhere now and everybody's wearing gray, gray sweatshirts and black jeans and tennis shoes and I like I didn't mean to point you out but <laughs> okay well I I'm in a fashion faux pas I'm just saying <laughs> I, I clearly didn't dress up it was, it was stripped <laughs> I was just being Anna. <laughs> I thought I was wearing a cool outfit. Okay. No, you look fabulous, darling. But you know what I'm saying? I I remember the days when you'd go to Las Vegas and you got dressed up to go to the tables and to gamble and, you know, you wore your rings and your jewelry and your nice things. and and Or I remember the days when you dressed up just to go out to dinner or to get on an airplane or all of those things. And... I miss a little of the civilities of life that I see out there. So to me, I think it's it's fun to be Anna. When you just said about you know Vegas and all that, one time I was going there to meet all the wives of these husbands, and they were paying me a bit of money, and I had a Louis Vuitton bag with my outfit, and and just my aeroplane outfit, comfort. And when I went off, I took my bag and I left. I went to the hotel, and when I unzipped my bag. I had, someone had switched it. I got a stripper's outfit and my good clothes. I thought, what is she going to wear? And I had a stripper's outfit on. There, not on, but that's what I was doing. So it reminds me, thank God, I always dressed up when I went on a plane. You know, that's the thing. You well, never know. You've been like that in your life, right? I think it's yeah. one of the commonalities you have as people, yeah. right? Yeah. You, you like yeah. to dress up. Too. Well, yeah, because, you know, although it takes a lot of effort, these days, you know, you get lazier and you don't want to go out, you know, you want to be in your sweats and all that. But, you know, we have a responsibility. So even when I go to the supermarket, I better, I'm not a person who puts on a cap and hides. Because I don't tell you, so many times at the organic counter at a supermarket, someone will come up to me and say something about the show. And I thought, thank God I didn't look like I just got out of bed. So we have to. It's a. It's very important, you know, because they do expect us to come off the TV looking like you're a million dollars, especially the way we've been as characters. So it's always a good lesson. So that's why. What if you go to the grocery store? Do you know when we were on the show back in the day, and we wore tons more makeup, even more than now, and. So I was used to being seen that way. And when I would go to the grocery store without anything on, people would say to me, 
you look so different on TV. And I took it wrong. I took it as a, as a, as a negative. So then I got very careful about going to the store nicely done. About that in pop culture. Yeah, because just just to put a cap on, it's just that people aren't necessarily they don't mean to be mean, but it but it does hurt when somebody says that to you. You used to be so much younger. You used to be something. Dee for hole, and she had no makeup. And D, which. She didn't want anyone to bother her, which I understood because she was such an important character on the show. And people come up to me on the plane, oh, we just love you on the show and all this. And they looked over and they did say, oh, hello. And they would keep talking to me, not realizing <laughs> that was Dieter Hall. <laughs> so she loved it. She did. She loved it. Yes. It was, it was so funny. Did you hear about movie stars and people that when they have to go out in public, they say the same thing you do? Like, it's like, I'm so afraid. Like, I want to go pick up my kid from school. But then the people are judging, is that your mom, the, the movie star? But, you know, you didn't dress up. She's in a tracksuit with her hair pulled back. It's like a thing. It is yeah. really. It is, it is a thing. And for the most part, I'm just running in and running out anyway. But it's just, um, I, you know, my mom was a beautician. She did hair. So she taught me from an early age to dress from top to bottom and to put your best foot forward, as Teo was saying earlier, just to be, you know, I, I just think that, thank God we have the option. I don't want to live the rest of my life in sweats. I, I realize it's very comfortable at home, but I'm, you know, I like that we are, have an opportunity to get out and get dressed for things. So, you know, I went to Ken one time, and I said, "Why don't we do something called Demera Designs, and we'll do fashion, we'll do tie, we'll do this and do that." But he he had his huh, and Demera Designs, yeah. But because I came out of a world of fashion in New York, I, with Melodandre. Uh, you know, it's always been important. And uh, even though I, you know, sometimes, like all of us as actors, didn't have the money to buy certain things or dress a certain way, I still always bought something. Clothing to me was always important because my mother always said, do not go out without looking respectable. So that was very important. So it was a period of life. That's why today it's become everything, the extraordinary the, the common have become extraordinary. We're, we're, not, we're not taking that kind of pleasure. And I think it's, it's kind of like, you see the actors and the way they're dressed and everything is very stylish and all that. But, you know, in life they're not. You know, people are just, just think of themselves as being ordinary. They don't, but we live extraordinary lives because of the way we have lived and with the, the characters. It does rub off, you know. And then, of course, when you go to a hotel and they recognize you and they give you a special thing or whatever, or, or like when I went to Corfu in Greece and my, I was with a producer and people were coming up and, uh, and saying, oh, you know, uh, we were dressed. So, you know, they don't want to see that. And so there is a difference. There's a very sharp edge difference between being at home and going out to your public. If you were to give me three words that describe working with him, why it works so well, what are the three words of why you guys are such collaborative partners on screen? Three words to describe working with him? Yes. Why does it work? Is it his tenacity? You know, what would be well, three? Well, there is. Tenacity is a pretty good one. And his, um, his respect for the work, he has great respect for what we are trying to say and how we're trying to play the scenes. I think that he, um, he is heartfelt, especially with me, and as a character, and as Leanne as well. And I think that he is um, uh, curious all the time. He wants to know why. She said 90 words. But <laughs> I was going to say, what happened to the three words? Tree, tree, tree. For 90 words. Do you have three words about like Comfort, comfort, comfort. Right, you feel like you, that makes you feel safe and comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, trust, I think, is very important. Um, it's so hard in this business because, you know, and we've all experienced some creepy, not so great people, and you want to trust them, and you go to work, and, it, and you feel like you're, 
it, it's like you're fighting. You're, it's like a, it's like a manipulative thing. Well, you know, it's um, as I've gotten older, my insights are a lot clearer than they used to be. I've always been pretty good about characters, um, but I and because I've played villains, and I've known the opposite. And now you're playing it, but it's so amazing to see how many people don't want it for you. You don't want to tell them your good news. You know, th those things uh, are sad, but that's how people are. It's a competitive game. Uh, people, when you're being happy and successful and someone's not, you're reminding them that they're not at that particular point. The thing is to know is that during those lull periods, what do you do? How do you envelop yourself into something more than just feeling sorry or feeling abandoned or feeling like you failed. So, you know, classes that we've been uh, over the years help me sustain those things. Cooking like I do with my friends sustain me. There are so many things, extensions of yourself because we are a wheel and you are the core of that wheel and all these things sprout from you. And it's like a necklace, you know, every bead means something. So you, you put all that together and you say to yourself, I'm whole. How do I survive these difficult times? Because you've got a foundation you've built. And so, and the friends make a difference because they're my family. I don't have family here. My friends are my family. So definitely words of wisdom is what we've learned in this interview. <laughs> and that I'm not dressed right. <laughs> I was really dressing. You were absolutely adorable, I must say. <laughs> it was more than an hour. I actually went and got the show. Um, thank you both. Thank it's good you. to see you, Teo. Thank you, Lynn. I see you watch them on Days of Our Lives streaming on Peacock.